Hi, Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Alexander's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Little's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Introducing first, in the world corner, playing out of Washington, D.C., the Intentions Alexander. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Little get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Little. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by bad intentions. A nice block by Little. Jabs by Alexander. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Off the target by bad intentions. And clicks of the talk. Able to land the hook to the head. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. We don't want this to go to the judge scorecards, you hear me? You need to cover up, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Here we go. Round two is underway. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counterpunch. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. 
Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Nice strike after catching one by the kid. Eddie, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first and all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Bad intentions is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Final 10 seconds. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Little is going with a very efficient work rate in that last round. He shows his spots carefully, Teddy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, not just be overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing punches, but placing the punches, strategically putting them in the right spots. Good job. Super two-punch combo by Little. He missed with that headshot. Bad intentions, his opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Little's easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Zap, zap. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Don't just walk in. Walk in with the head to the side. The side, I keep telling you. The side, the side. Listen to me. Good job. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight, but don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. And listen, I want you to pick his jabs when he throws. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Nice, 
this one-two combination by Little. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep it up. He got hit Keep right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Alexander. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. He could be on the deck in moments. Look at this swarming attack. Bad intentions is taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. Looks like my screen door on my back porch. I mean, the mosquitoes, there's so many of them. Oh, and a big right hand land. He turned things around. Big shot there. Alexander's down. He was knocked down there. Two, one, two three. It's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Ladies and gentlemen, by So that's all it took. One good shot. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Little's assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. What a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. of this 10-round fight. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. In and out. In and out. Zoning in the old one two. Keep working the body. Halfway through this round here. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Little. putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Keep working the body. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. 
fights. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Ten seconds remaining in this round. End of round one. Allen's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Okay, listen. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. You can do him fine. He's just being in a punch. That's all. You need to throw more. underway zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs he just missed that shot up top he returns the favor with a right hand of his own the kid's combination punching is working well here. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. You're doing great. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Allen. The kid's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good right hand. The kid's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good that's, solid counter. That's it. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Let's move. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Chisel's hit by a counter punch there. And that's the end of round two. Little's back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport, and especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Good one, too, by Little. What a good counter punch by Allen. You're doing great. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The kid's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Gets rid of that body shot. Nothing there on the punch by Little. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Diesel. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He's 
to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Defense is paying off now. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Thank you. You're fine. You are in control. You're in control. No. This fight. Stand straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Round number four underway. The kid's just dominating in the punch stat categories. When you look at total punches thrown, He's got a big edge early on. Yeah, not a lot of damage going on, but as you just said, one guy working, the other guy's not. Good job on the two-punch combo by Little. The kid's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. Focus. Come on. There's the combo downstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Allen. Come on. Get well targeted two punch combo by Allen. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Little. Halfway through this round. There you go. On the mark with the hook after blocking that shot. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Allen. The kid's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Little scoring with that right hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Little. Allen's probably trying to assess things right now as that round comes to an end. I think it's a close, good, solid fight that he's still very much in, but I do think he's on the downside of the scorecards. Yeah, but the most important thing is he has to know that. See, that's the thing. Can a fighter be honest with himself? And that's where the corner comes in. Somebody has to whisper in his ear and say, hey, listen, you might think you're in this place, but the reality, you're not. The kid's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Back to the body! A crushing two-punch combo by Little. Volume punching to the body there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it. The counter punch by Little. Little's 
putting forth a great combination there. Scored well with the hook after blocking that shot. Diesel's opponent landing an effective counterpunch right there. Allen's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Diesel's cut is really not a good sign. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Allen. Not precise at all by Diesel. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Halfway through round six. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Allen. What a smart combination by Allen. The kids is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Little's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. that blow and then a counter uppercut you gotta fight you gotta fight more here we go action to start the seventh round you got this you got this one jab 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 And there's the left hand working well for him again. Nice strike after catching one by the kid. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Allen's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Didn't get it done going to the body there. One, two, one, two. The old one two scores for him. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that, yes, he's up, but if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. Oh, his opponent is a real tough guy. He doesn't get discouraged. Continues to come with a fast pace, and a guy like that, you never, never count out.
Great work offensively landing that combination by Little. The kid's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, just but like he's handcuffing just the guy. Like and the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Keep Allen's showing you that sublime Good. skill right now. Diesel's crushed by a right hand. Allen's defense has failed him now. Oh, man. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. What a precision body shot that was. And it scores the knockdown. Three, four. Get up. Get up. Get up. Allen's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Little's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oh, that worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. There you go. There's the combo to the body. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Little. Allen's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Look at that combination by Little. Little's corner has very little to do right now. Why? Because their fighter has been nearly flawless with his accurate and clean punching. Well, part of that's attached to his personality. He doesn't waste anything. He's real calm. He's a conservative guy. Anything he throws, he's placing where it's going to land. Little head knocking with that right hand. Allen's out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Allen. Keep working the body. You see, he's committed to that body work. 90 seconds into the ninth round. There you go. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. Allen's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good combination on the one-two by Little. Scores well to the head with the right hand. They both decide to bring it. Unable to connect by Allen. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And he's marking that target right above the belt line. And this round comes to an end. The kid's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Allen's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Allen. Excellent one-two by Little. He's still not moving enough. Move, move. Good power punch. The right hand landed. 
Diesel. And now, oh, and there you go. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, get to your feet. Two, three, four, Hurry, five. Get Allen's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. The kid's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. Very accurate two-punch combo by Little. This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you had no. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. Dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score.